I'm kind of afraid they're gonna do some significant damage next turn, but... No, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, of course they're gonna attack Sylvain. I had like a sudden weird headache today. I am I Ferdinand saw. von Eyre. Hey, Felix, just go that way. See this reason I send Dorothea this way? I can just dance for him. And he and Hannah are going to be able to run a little bit further ahead and then on this side Mercedes can't run that far so he's dead Bernie. What did I expect? Wow, Sylvain, you're my favorite. I prefer you over Ferdinand, to be honest. Even though their stats are supposed to be like roughly equal. I think Ferdinand kinda has more HP maybe or defense. Just give up. And then run up here. You know, I might change Ferdinand to like an axe. Because his lancing skills are not that good compared to axe skills. Uh, I think I can kill him. If, yeah. You're weak. I stand here and I attack. Fire. Don't kill him. Sad face. Just right in front of his face. Wait, I can make Ferdinand kill him now, I think. I stand here, attack, I do the fire. Uh, or still bow. They did a steel bow. <laughs> and then Ferdinand can probably kill him. Yes, he can. Do a training lance, though. You should be honored. And then Bernie can swim there. And then Linhart can stand here with an assist of Psychic Heal. Back to the fray. And then you can dance with him. Helpful. Dorothea mostly levels just by dancing. How amazing. Uh, assist to a heal Bernie. That really helped. And then it's everyone's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. No, no, no. I'm gonna stand here. If I stand here, both will come for me. If I stand here, only he will come for me. I'm gonna stand there. I'm gonna stand here now. This is the safest spot I can stand in. For him to attack me. Without Edelgard coming at me. See, he will move. He will just stand there, is what I thought. Oh shit. They're both gonna go. <gasps> They're all gonna go for me. Oh no, I didn't expect that. 
Uh, uh, Dorothea, where's the fucking over here? Shit. Well, I have ten charges of this, so. Uh, Mercedes and... Just wait here one idea. more turn, because apparently... Here we go. They're all gonna charge next turn, and I don't want that to happen. Stay focused. Okay, go this way. And then change the items. Go for the... Um, Rapier and weights. Sylvain, I'm on it. Stand next to me. Uh, items chains into the Iron Lands. Equip that and just wait. Ferdinand, I am Ferdinand von. Just stand behind him and just items and train. Your training axe is better, so just put the training axe on him. <laughs> Linhart, you can't do anything, so just wait there. Oh. We're in a dead, you can't walk that far either, so wait there. I'll go. You wait there. And Dorothea has trouble That's walking stairs, apparently, so I'm just gonna stay there. And then now I can go this way. Uh, they're all gonna go for her, so I'm just gonna... Yikes, that's my hands. I don't wanna attack yet. I'm gonna wait. Mercedes can get no. Mercedes can stand here. Oh shit, they're all gonna attack Mercedes. No. Told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? How shall I cook you? Is that really what he said? I don't want to get cooked. I don't taste that well. You missed. He had a zero percent chance to hit. Why did he even do that? Despite what I said, I have no intention of killing you. So why not stand down and get out of my way? I'm sorry, idle guards. I don't want to attack you. Of course she has that attack that I gave her. Maybe this is the real Elo card. She has a gamut I gave her. I kinda don't like the Let's fact that careful. everyone is uh, playing the player right now. Suckers. Wait, I got hit? Okay, um... Burn that. You can. You take damage. Wait, what does. What kind of weapon does Edelgard have? She has a steel axe. How's she gonna defend herself? I don't understand that. I can probably kill Edelgard, maybe. This dude, he hurts. I'm glad he didn't, like, attack attack me. He's like really useless right now. My Lance of Rune is the only chance for me to do some damage. The other attacks are not the damage. And 
And the worst part is I'm frozen. So close right now. Bridget Pride. I should be more like you. Yeah, you inspire. Oops, sorry. Um Ninety four chance to hit. It's if I miss that one, I will cry. Wait, no, I was just following orders. I just crawl. It sounded like a crawl. Wow, is he dead? He looks dead. Keep up the momentum. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, did I? Uh, Dorothea. Nineteen. Can do a lance of wound. I'm gonna hit twice though. I'm gonna have to hit her twice. Forty-eight. Let's do the forty-eight one. The only thing I can do. Be able to do the most damage here. Me? Wait, no, I can't move shit. Uh, wait. Uh, me or Bernie? I'm gonna give it to myself. Don't make me regret this. Well done. Eight, nineteen, thirty seven. If I do that, she will turn her way to me. Nineteen. How much damage will I do with uh, thirteen? I still had a thing left. Stir mm. the fire. I can't crit her either. Professor, I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. Don't be a bad truth? person, Alucard. No. Just join me. Let's leave it at that. Alright, let me join you. <laughs> Counter attack. That is why I did so much. Took so much damage. To uh, Linhart, can you assist, please? Uh, sidekick. Thank you. Oh, she will still kill me? Are you kidding me? Reaching flames. Oh my god. Don't. Kill me.
That's my cue. We're not dead. What a bay. Oh. That's that crit. Oh my god. She will still kill me now. I'm on it. Uh Lance of Ruin, do it. Just do it. Also a crit! I think you're gonna crit, then I would have used a different attack. Okay! So vain! He's gonna be MPP. To be fair, it's burning dead though. So, the end has come. You protected all the crest stones? Yeah, I'm a badass. Received a rusted bow. Can force into a silver bow. Wow. Knowledge gem. Thanks. Defense seal. Thanks. That was almost homework and not worth the rewards, but okay. Petra is the uh, MVP. I'm okay with that. Uh, what kind of saves did I have here? That's that one, I guess. Edelgard. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant Edelgard. of House Heresmelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. I like your fetters. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. No, you can't go she do it. I'm not going to kill her. To all of Fodlan. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. If you want her dad, then you can do it yourself, okay? Ooh! I must kill Edelgard. I must protect. I must protect my Edelgards! Edie! I'm 100%. I didn't have to think about that one. You. How dare you! My teacher, I. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill my- But are you certain that- No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Uh, hello, Hubert. properly express my gratitude, Professor. Have you been standing there the entire time, or...? So... This is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Well, you're part of the church, and I'm the church. Your presence soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemy strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. I have passed judgment, and now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself! I'm glad I sided with Edelgard. That must be the Immaculate One. Yes, the monsters that have controlled both of Wait, wait, what is it called? The Immaculate One? I kind of just thought 
They said the emasculine one. <laughs> I have passed judgment and now she'll rip, rip your chest open and take back your heart myself. I'm really glad I, I sided with Edelgard. Did you see the pillow again? Yes, I want that one. I need my Edelgard pillow. Ah. Uh, X. Ray is their leader. There's no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor, we must escape while we can. What a scary thing that is. So, uh... Everything is okay. I'm no longer pissed at him against Edelgard that she betrayed me. Because I cut sight with her. I'm already happy. Part 1. White clouds. Lone moon. Outset of a power struggle. Why did I run away though? I had to fight that big dragon thing. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances Look at that alike. Armor. But each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger. And yet a lone moon still haunts the sky. Winter's a silent ending. reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Winter was here, but now it's ending. Bitches, I started with Edelgard. What did you do today? I don't longer hate the game anymore. <sighs> we somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. <laughs> My grandfather was the I like how uh, Dorothea was and laughing. And I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. Was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our I just wanted to here. say, everyone's Empire. You're fine here so. with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, AD. I'm here to follow our dear professor. Yeah, but just they're following me. Of course, me. I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the goddess. They conceal the truth. Didn't my dad say at the beginning the of the game not to trust They mercilessly Leo. annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Seros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity. For all of Yes! Us. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. The Empires have ruled the world. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire. And we will triumph. Yes. I have started a rebellion. That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. 
I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? Why am I still in the sewers than they were upstairs? Of course! When you want Elagard, Edelgard. I appreciate it. I... What's wrong? I'm just anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long devised strategies are unfolding across Fodlan. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless we will casualties. We will do it to free Fodlan. With a single Remember command, that. the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. This is the path you choose, isn't it? Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. Exactly. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on We will destroy them. the church. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago. Yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path mm. leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live yes, with that? Yes, we must suppress. We must break the chains that Church holds over Fodlan. This is acting like she never started rebelling before, right? Everyone started rebelling before, jeez. I choose this path too, Evie. I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. What? I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty. The latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto She's are writing a manifesto. Complete. Question mark? We will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Saros and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation. And forgive those who We will who condemn those who deserve condem we condemnation. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. My father among them. <laughs> How unfortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrick Mach. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. We are the Imperial Swords. That's not how a rebellion works. You go in slaughter, move on. We are the sword. I don't want to be shields. I'm the sword. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. 
Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. Yeah, you be. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. <gasps> oh, oh. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike I, I had a better name, but... I love it. It's a great name, Edie. I'm so happy you feel that way. I must confess that I spent all night thinking about it. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force. Black for Eagle Strike Force. Okay. Shield would have probably been better for the people, but slaughtering is more fun. Hey, a good defense is a solid offense. If you don't need to defend, if you can pull off a good attack, you don't have to do the defense. That's my strategy and works every single time. You just go for it. This month you'll operate from a temporary encampment so the available facilities are limited. You can head out to the battlefield by approaching the temporary encampment exit and selecting to battle. Okay. I like how many students there are here. A moment, I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Her majesty is as hard fighter? on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. I find that most reassuring. I like her armor. I look it's forward like to working armor. with you. I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the I feel like these two will be able to. Just fight like Caspar, I'm from House I wonder Burgles. if that one guy that I accidentally wanted to after I was born. Killed. So the guy the that I killed earlier. Is rather lowly. If I let him but live, I'm he would be here to make too. something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family for the sake of my mother and sister. I believe that this is the first I have the permit for the I find Yeah, look, everyone is blue except for her. I feel like yes. I can All right. To think things would come to this. Even a few months ago, I never could I have never imagined, imagined it. You'd be. I believe in you, professor. So I'm stealing myself. I can't promise I wonder that I'll if I had the ability if I recruited the more fight. people, they'd be here too. Oh, I should have recruited more oh. people. No, I never got to recruit my Lysithia. No. Wait, who followed me? So everyone from the house followed me from the Eagles. Then we have Felix with me, Sylvain, yes, Mercedes, yes. Ignatz, yeah. Hanneman, Manuela, Alois. Shamir. Okay, I'm glad Shamir joined me. I love her. Shamir is only 26. She looks so much older. She's hot, though. Totally fuck her. Um... Get my own room here. At least I have that at home. Aww. But speaking of home, Hubert told me something. God. He said my father was stripped of his title. I guess he did as he pleased and opposed Edelgard. Wait, does that mean my father's going to be home? home? Don't go home. Oh. On second thought, I think I'm. Yeah, here. just stay with us. I will protect you. I will protect you with my life. Teacher, I asked Edelgard what happened to my father. He was dismissed as prime minister and is under house arrest in the imperial yeah, capital. Yeah, well, we didn't like the prime he minister. He always was a greedy, arrogant man. Some would say that this is the fate it he is. deserves. And yet I cannot help but feel indignant. After all his hard work for the empire, to be disgraced I like mean, this. 
I am conflicted, Professor. We know what he did. I do did, not so. know what to do. As the next Duke Iyer, should I follow Edelgard into yes. battle? <laughs> it's all so exciting, yes. Black Eagle Strike Force, eh? I like it. It's really a twist of fate that brought me to this side of things. But I'm still proud to be here. Hey, girls. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Uh, we will not lose. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're fighting the Knights of Saros. Still, I know you'll figure something out. The Empire and Bridget were once warring with each other, but now... I have made the decision to be fighting with the Empire. It is a choice of I wonder how the story life. goes if you're doing but this with no the other houses. My belief is with you and with Edelgard. I feel like this is the good the good way to do it, right? I mean <sighs> That could have gotten dangerous fast. If I stayed at the monastery, I would have had to fight my father. We aren't especially close. But he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. Anyway, it looks like he's going to be leading the Western units. I wonder if we'll wind up fighting the Kingdom's army. And who decided to fight for the church? Uh, I don't have gifts for y'all right now. The most important- I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspar's are supporting Adelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finance. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. That's good, that's good. Giddy! We will join forces with the main army and attack yes, Eric Mok. Yes, we will kill Ria. It's a fortress built on steep ground, but it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. But if we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. Um, we have to try. From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts with inhuman strength, you will be our only hope. I believe in you. I'm relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force to victory. It is not up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling vulnerable. You are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. I like how characters bow for me. Feels good, man. Welcome. You need any weapons? Maybe. Maybe I do. I'll buy the wielder of this blade is and bullet and will attack twice when initiating combat. I want that. Will this one do? Many things. Brave lance. Will this one do? Attack twice. Many things. Rape axe, sure. Will this one do? Many things. Rape bow, sure, by that. Will this one do? Many things. Can I sell things that I, uh. uh... Yeah, I have billions. Will sell. this one do? Many things. Will oh, this I have one two do? of these, boom. Many things. That's a lot of cash. Come back soon. Hey. Hey, there. hey it's the, the girl from, from from town. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need one arcane crystal. Come back anytime. 
Want to hire a battalion? Yeah, I kind of do. What do you require? First, I want to replenish everything I have. Uh, yeah, I want one for Felix. Apparently, it does not have one. Felix! You need authority, buddy! Oh, that sucks. I can't have anything with him. Farewell. Welcome. Uh, silver shields. This one? Limited one. But, uh, Thank you. Recover 99 HP. That's a lot of HP. Master seal, limited five. Should I buy them? Please come again. Surely this is what the goddess willed, isn't it? Of course. I feel she would not have wanted the Church of Saros to become what it has. Uh, Hello. Guy here. Right, right. I'm a soldier, but I had to sense. But Her Majesty's words are true. Stephane. I've gone and done it now, huh? What would my old man say if he knew I'd sided with the Empire? His Highness must be angry. Dimitri gets super scary when he's like that. I wonder how I'm going to die. Ugh. You're not gonna die, Sylvain. I will protect just you. About it. No, I, I can't think that way. I promise to fight alongside you. I'm here until the end. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm terrified, but I feel so calm. Good, good, good. Hmm. To be frank, I'm not sure whether I should believe all that Ada, but if her words are true, I think it's best to be her act, so I'll fight. I'm not at ease with that decision just yet. Uh, there are only a few people left to talk to. The soldier. Yes. I have heard the name. He's fed alone. And... Felix. What, what he has to say. I've been preparing to take this path. My own path. Not my old man's. And not the... Okay. Yep. And... You're okay. I came this far mostly on impulse. Everything will be okay, right, Professor? If I know that you think it's okay... You're all good. Alright, I think, uh... <gasps> Ooh, I can talk with Edelgard. Ugh, I'm so sick of it all. How did we suddenly end there up in this There is so much room? to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Ugh. Sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. This is kind of a weird change of subject. Do you mean it? Just the thought makes me happy. But Hubert would never allow. Doesn't have to know. Indeed. It may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of Eidolon. Mark my words. Just get all tingly and set when people inside when people both are yeah. Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? It's pretty funny, yeah. I see. I'm finally getting an idea of what you think of me. No, but it's let's not put it. All that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell what? you. What? I'm afraid this might sound a bit sentimental. However, I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. If I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader, but Simply Edelgards. I'm glad. Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. It was lonely, terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. But you, you have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. Yay, support level B. Uh -huh, 
top with all of them. Shamir and I'm, I want to see this conversation. What, it, what can they even talk about it? Nothing in particular. I was just recalling your impressive skill with the bow. I'm willing to bet you could put an arrow through the neck of an enemy general from quite a distance. In fact, to any leader's bodyguard, I would go so far as to say you pose the most dangerous kind of threat. Don't worry your fragile little self. Your lady princess is safe. I wouldn't shoot my employer. I would certainly hope not. But there are some mercenaries to whom a contract means little. And you would do well Jesus, to look, I was looking at his little uh, no profile picture. It just looked super dark. To learn the proper form of address for your his eyes were light and I'm I said lady. Dark. I already told you. I'm not going to break the princess's contract. What did I just say? Proper address. Right. Next time. My patience has limits, you know. For the moment, you may stand in Lady Edelgard's good graces. But if you become a problem, I will not hesitate to eliminate you. You're unstable, Hubert. Be careful who you threaten. I don't take kindly to those who get in the way of my contracts. Is that a threat? Just some advice. Bernadetta at Linhard, really? Uh, a little more crimson, maybe? May I suggest vermilion instead? I said nothing about your talent. I simply suggested vermilion over crimson. Do you know vermilion? It's just a softer shade of crimson. I believe it would... Oh, forget it. This is your artistic vision and I am but a meddler. I am going to read my book and leave you to your art. Why are you standing? Uh, uh, no, it's fine. Say what you want to say. It's good advice. I'll use vermilion. Thank you. Well, I'd best be heading back. Aw. Phew! Finally done! I think. All finished? Uh, please, don't look at it! Everything looks a bit faded, doesn't it? Ironically, Crimson may have been a better choice after all. The sense of distance on the petals is a little strange. Perhaps you should pay closer attention to such details as you paint. A preliminary sketch would do wonders. Still, it... Oh, forget my pedantic comments. You really do have potential. I want to have Bernadette's outfit. It's just so cute. Bernadetta? Perhaps I should have kept my thoughts to myself. Poor Bernadette. Unmarriageable. My house. This is everyone in my house. I kind of wish I unlocked more character. I don't care about Ignaz. I kind of wish I had Ingrid and the other chick. Um, Lila, Lila Thea or something like that. Monsters in the Mountains mission. The battle for Garrick Marsh. Let's do that one. Chapter 12. The battle of Garrick Mark. We will soon arrive at Garrick Mark Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. 
I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it, don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's fight. I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win. How can you prepare to fight? Maybe I can prepare to prepare. I can prepare to prepare. There's no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. Now, let's talk strategy. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldiers. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate The Immaculate One. one. Fight with all you she have, but don't monster. be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. I will protect you all. Not only will we all survive this, but we will undoubtedly emerge victorious. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail. The Black Eagle Strike Force. I like that name. So we're gonna have to fight the monster that controlled the church. See, this is the good. This is the good one. The good ending, or whatever you want to call it. The good story. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're not even close to the ending. Then again, I can't recruit any characters anymore. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. All right, I look like and look at the map. I'm gonna stand. I look guard. I call him Eagle Guard. I call him with her. Hey, there's that that the, the girl, latest lava, latest lava. I knew I was gonna be able to recruit her. And there's uh, Randolph. 